Hello and welcome to another video from Minus Touch Toys, Games, Collectibles. And today we're looking at something a little bit different. We're looking at the 1999 release by Decca Toys from their series of Jerry Anderson themed glitter stickers. And this particular one we are looking at today is from what one could consider to be the most prominent of all of the Anderson TV series, Thunderbirds. Um, and this was released in 1999 when Thunderbirds made its return to mainstream television again, I think for the third time. Um, okay, so Thunderbirds was a uh, obviously a British sci-fi television series created by Jerry and Sylvia, Sylvia Anderson um, and filmed by their production company, which called, was called AP Films at the time. Um, and it was filmed between 1964 and 1966, and it was used what they termed as, or, the, or they filmed in what they termed as super marionation, which was all about, all, obviously, all the electronic marionette puppetry. Um, okay, so they made two series, um, which totaled 32 episodes. Uh, each episode was about 50 minutes long. Um, and then they went on to make two films after that, which was Thunderbirds Are Go and Thunderbirds 6. Um, which were made for the cinema, uh, but eventually they were um, cut into portions and aired on the TV. Um, there was no further uh, Thunderbirds made at the time because the financial backer for AP Films was a person called Lou Grade, and he felt that it was easier to sell a new television series to the US networks rather than a third season of the same um TV program, so um, hence the reason why Thunderbirds was dropped and Captain Scarlet emerged. Okay, so I've diverged. Let's back to the point. This is the 1999 release by Decca Toys of the Thunderbirds glitter stickers, and this is the packet in front of us. And it says Thunderbirds, and you can see an image of Thunderbird one firing, flying through space. It's got glitter stickers, and you've got the Decca Toys logo on the top left-hand corner, and the Carlton logo on the bottom right-hand corner. Now, before we have a good look at the stickers itself, let's turn it around. Is there anything on the back? Um, well, no. There's just a card on the back here um, with the CE and the copyright information. Uh, Carlton Thunderbirds Online.co.uk, Decca Toys information, and the barcode. And in fact, it conforms to British standards. Okay, and you can see the back of the stickers, the outline of the back of the stickers on the back of the packet. Okay, so in this packet, there are two, four, six, eight stickers, um, all comprising of the vehicles used in Thunderbirds. I'm just going to dim the lights down a little bit because I seem to be getting a bit of a glare back on the lights. So I'm gonna zoom in and we're gonna have a look at the stickers um, one by one. So with the first one, let's actually put the light back on. Is it better? Uh, maybe it's a little bit better. Um, I'm trying to, yeah, uh, there we go. So that does appear to be a little bit better. So the very first sticker is the Thunderbirds logo um as it appeared on screen and obviously it was in red with a uh, white background and it's glitter all over it so it says thunderbirds and you got the carlton logo at the bottom there now we move on to the underwater aquanauts thunderbird 4 um, which is all yellow with red stripes and the blue screen again it's all glittered uh, just below thunderbird 4 is the big transport machine thunderbird 2 and that is green with red um, propellers and uh, uh, yellow stripes and grey. And again, it's all glittered up. And moving down next, we've got Thunderbird 1, which is their uh, first machine to arrive at any disaster. Uh, and that is in grey with a red nose cone and a blue bottom. And again, it's all glittered up. Uh, just next to Thunderbird 1, we have got the mole which is a digging machine, which is used and transported on th in Thunderbirds 2, and it's used to burrow into the earth. Um, and just next to Thunderbird, oh, that's yellow and gray uh, with a few red bits on it. And again, it's all glittered up. And to the right of that is Thunderbird 3. Uh, Thunderbird 3 is their spaceship, 
um, which go, goes up to join our Thunderbird 5 to relieve the staff and swap the staff over. So John, who's most of the time on the space station, uh, can be replaced for leave by Alan. Okay. Um, so that's Thunderbird 3, and it's red with grey again, um, and it is... Um, glittered up again as the all of them are uh, just below that is Thunderbird 5 which is a space station as I said earlier it's the one where John uh, monitors all the disasters going on in the world and reports them back to um, International Rescue HQ and this has a few different colors you've got blue gray brown red um, and black and again it is all glittered up and finally none other than Lady Penelope's Thunderbird, a uh, uh, Fab One, I should say, the pink Rolls Royce. Um, and again, that this is the only one that doesn't contain glitter by the looks of it. Uh, whether this was an add on right at the end or not, I don't know, but it's, there's no glitter on the car itself. There is a little bit of glitter on the very bottom edge of the bumpers here, uh, and the same at the front, but other than that, that's all the glitter that's on the vehicle. Uh, but anyway, there we are. So, Thunderbird, uh, not Thunderbird, Fab One, um, which is well, it's kind of like a darker pink um, with grey and black. Um, and I say glitter is just on along the edges um, of the bumper, which is in grey. Okay, so that is the eight stickers that come with the that come in the set. I'm just going to get some sizes of these stickers so you can get an idea of the size. So we're looking at the Thunderbirds logo is six centimeters long by wide tallest point is two and a half centimeters thunderbird four uh widest point five and a half centimeters and the tallest point we're looking at is about uh two and a half centimeters thunderbird two measures uh, seven and a half centimeters long and at the tallest point we're looking at about again two and a half centimeters thunderbird one so that measures six and a half centimeters and width wise of four centimeters the mold longest part five and a half centimeters and the tallest part we're looking at is about three centimeters thunderbird three we are looking at seven centimeters tall by about two and a half centimeters at its widest point. Thunderbird five, we're looking at six centimeters long by about four and a half centimeters tall between the top of the antennas to the bottom uh, of the uh, spaceship. And Fab one, we're looking at a total of six and a half centimeters long by two and a half centimeters high at its highest point. So there we are. That is the glitter stickers from Decca Toys for Thunderbirds. So how well did these do? Well, yeah, I mean, Thunderbirds um, back in the 90s was a big thing again, um, 1999. I think this is, this is where BBC had just bought the um, rights to the TV series and they were uh, running them on BBC television um, because they also had uh, front covers of the Radio Times for Thunderbirds at the same time so I'm pretty certain it was when uh, that the BBC had the rights because previously it was all shown on uh, ITV um, up until uh, this point when they all aired on BBC. Um, so uh, it was almost like a relaunch. It, they were uh, prime time television on BBC Two, um, and it created a very big following again for Thunderbirds. Uh, lots of merchandise produced again, um, and uh, everybody pretty much jumped on the bandwagon. All the all the children again uh, for the third time, a third generation was now heavily into the Thunderbirds Super Marination series. Um, so figures toys play sets all sorts of things were were spawned um from the series being rerun again and every uh, pretty much most of the manufacturers that were into the, doing things for the kids produced some kind of uh, toy for thunderbirds and this was decker toys version they also did um stickers for the other anison um series and also they produced um outfits um 
uh, and uh, pistols and ray guns and so on. So Decker Toys did quite a lot. But this is the uh, sticker set, the glitter sticker set. Um, so yeah, do they come up nowadays on the platforms? Well, to be perfectly honest with you, no, not really, not very often. Um, and I think probably that's because they were consumables. So um, anyone that would have bought these, they would have opened them and stuck them on their workbooks, on their, um, I don't know, on their walls, on their jackets, on their bags. Um, being that they're the vinyl glitter stickers, they could, you could have stuck them on any, any, anything really. Um, so they would have been used. So um, not very many of these have survived the test of time. What we're talking, we're talking 25 years. Quarter of a century has gone by since these were produced. So um, no, they really don't appear very often on the platforms. I can't remember the last time I saw a set of these on the platforms, but don't get me wrong, they do come up, but very, very rarely. Um, or, however, yes, you know it. We at Minus Touch have managed to find quite a few of these sets. And they are currently available to purchase on the Midas Touch website, which you can get to very simply by clicking the link below. It will take you straight to the website where you'll be able to find this and many other vintage Jerry Anderson items and many other vintage toys, games and collectibles come to that. There's over 10,000 products currently available on the website for you to view and purchase at your leisure. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button because we're uploading the videos for every new item that goes into the website. There will be something for everybody. And I am absolutely positive that this is something you're not going to want to miss because we literally have thousands and thousands of new products which we're shooting videos for and uploading on a daily basis. So if there's something in particular you are looking for, something old that you never know how to find, something quirky you might want to buy for a friend, or perhaps just something from your childhood that you'd like to own again to help you recuperate those long lost childhood memories. Well, stay tuned, keep watching, because you never know the next item we upload could be that item you've been looking for. Okay, that is it for me on this particular item. I do hope you've enjoyed reviewing this wonderful little sticker collection with me. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again next video. So bye for now.